بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح علی صدری وسیر علی امری وحل العقدت من لسان افقہ قولی اسلام علیکم لٹل کیڈز دس اس شہروز عبداللہ اور ٹوڈے وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس نومیریکل پرابلمز آف دی فرس چپٹر کلاس ٹین فیزکس لیٹ می ریکال دی پریویس ورک دیٹ وی ہاف دن یسٹرڈے ایٹ فورز ریلیٹڈ ٹو properties of waves there were so many properties the first was reflection of waves and uh, the second was refraction of waves the third was diffraction of waves and uh, to understand all those properties we have used uh, instrument that we uh, we have demonstrated that was ripple tank and actually it was a uh, instrument which is used to demonstrate the properties of waves in other words you can say to demonstrate the uh, waves actually okay Uh, so this was all of the uh, about all of uh, about previous work now today we are going to take start with numerical problems let me uh, read the numerical statement first it says uh, it is available on page number 26 right page number 26 book page number 26 the first numerical is a mass hung from a spring vibrates 15 times in 12 second means number of vibration is 15 and time is how much 12 second okay calculate the frequency and the time period of vibration yes it says frequency you need to find out and time period you need to find out okay uh, then what we do now we come towards solution we know that from the uh, formula of frequency that frequency is actually the number of vibrations per second so we can say that f is equal to n by t or here n value is 15 t value is 12 you use calculator by using calculator you can get the result 1.25 hertz okay uh, then uh, second thing about they are asking about time period we know that time period and frequency are inversely variated to each other so t is equal to 1 over f the f value is 1.25 just put the value over here and get time period 0.2 0.8 seconds okay this was all about the first numerical this part, this was quite easier then it says uh, uh, spring second now we are doing a uh, second numerical it says a spring requires a force of 100 newton yes the force over here is 100 newtons right to compress it to a displacement of 4 cm yes compression is how much 4 cm do remember one thing we use minus sign over here for compression right so uh, minus 4 cm uh, now we need to convert this cm into uh, meters what we do we divide it by 100 and we get minus 0.04 uh, meters right okay what does it says them uh, what is the spring constant yes they are talking about spring constant k you need to find out the value of spring constant k okay so what is required over here spring constant k is required okay from hooke's law we know that f is equal to minus kx what we do we divide x on both hand side and we get this mathematical equation and we just put the values over here f value is 100 x value is minus 0.04 meters this is the that converted value okay now when you divide uh, both these terms you get 2500 newton per meter so that is the value of spring constant okay now this was second numerical the third is quite easier also it says a second pendulum is a pendulum with a time period of 2 seconds okay we know that second pendulum is that pendulum whose time period is 2 seconds right okay it says how long must a second pendulum be on earth where the gravitational acceleration value is 9.18 meters per second square they are saying that gravitational acceleration value on earth is 9.8 meters per second fine you need to find length of the same pendulum on earth okay this is the first point number 2 and moon where gravitational acceleration is 1.62 meters per second square the gravitational acceleration value for moon is 1.62 meters per second square now you need to find the length of the same pendulum on moon okay then further what is the frequency of the second pendulum on earth and moon yes frequency on the second uh, of second pendulum on earth you need to find frequency of on moon you need to find okay we are supposed to find four things over here now let's come one by one the first thing is time period oh, okay 
as we know that the formula to find out the time period of simple pendulum is t is equal to 2 pi under the root l by g right we need to find l what we do we take uh, squares on both side when you take square this t will convert into t square this 2 will convert into 4 this pi will convert into pi square this under the root will be finished out it will be l by g now to find out l we do cross multiplication we get to this result we, we need actually l we don't need 4 pi square we divide it on the both side right we get this expression now this equation we get over here now we we do two things for earth this is the basic equation to find out the length of the pendulum if you are on moon so use the values for moon if you're on earth use the values for earth okay now for earth i just introduced small e over here for understanding and small e with the g as well just for understanding the value of t we put over here the value of g e we put over here four value uh, like four and pi square value we put over here and by calculation we get this result by using calculator you can find it out okay similarly for moon this is for moon what we do the same equation we use but what only m will be introduced just for the understanding uh, uh, purposes so the equation will turn to this right just put the values over here t value is 2 gm value is 1.62 already we have mentioned in the given data okay just by putting the values and using calculator you can reach to this result of 0 0.16 meters okay then uh, third thing they are saying to find out the frequency of uh, uh, frequency of the same pendulum on earth and frequency on the, of the same pendulum on moon okay we know that frequency formula uh, frequency and time period are inversely variated we have already the time period value time period uh, of simple per second pendulum that is same on earth and moon like it is two second it is same for earth as well it is same for moon as well right so f e is equal to one by t t value is two over here we divide both these terms and get 0 0.5 right this is for earth similarly we do for moon also fm is equal to 1 by t just instead of this t we put 2 over here and we get to a result 0 0.5 seconds done okay uh, this was third numerical now we are coming towards fourth numerical it says calculate the period and frequency of a propeller on a plane if it completes to 50 cycles in 5 seconds yes what is given over here number of vibrations or cycle is 250 how much is the time time is 5 seconds what is needed to find the first frequency number two time period we know uh, this, this is quite easy here you know uh, you know that first the formula for frequency is number of vibrations divided by time f is equal uh, small f is equal to n by t just put the values and get the answer like n value is 250 and t value is 5.0 when you divide it you are going to get 50 hertz right this is uh, the answer number one like result number one okay and for finding time period we know better that time period and frequency are inversely variated to each other so we write t is equal to 1 by f so f value is 50 over here we divide it so we get 0 0.02 seconds we have done with the first four numericals over here the rest of the numericals we will do by tomorrow hope you enjoyed the lecture thank you for your time jazakallah